last week's Fake News Friday, I talked about bulking up on pork and beans because farting makes you lose weight. Well, here's another crappy story for you. George Hamilton, age 56, of Gloucestershire, England, got admitted into the Gloucestershire Royal Hospital last week after suffering, suffering from constipation and diarrhea. See, told you it was going to be a crappy story. Hamilton told doctors that he basically hasn't been able to poop for the past 18 weeks and became increasingly worried when he started vomiting his own feces about two weeks ago. <clears throat> Hamilton's a car salesman, so you can imagine how bad this would be. People say that uh, uh, when he belches at work, people around him would ask if somebody farted because the stench was so horrible. In fact, two of his clients had fainted and one lady puked on his shoes. His wife won't even stand in the same room as him anymore and it became unbearable. He's lost his job. Now uh, he's basically in the hospital and doctors have diagnosed him with what's called gastrojejunocolic fistula. Uh, it's a rare disorder of the human gastrointestinal tract, which forces the body into fecal vomiting. Yeah, it's true. And it gets better. Um, they say that uh, at, at the hospital, they have since proceeded to manually extract 122 pounds of fecal matter from the 320-pound man. Uh, it's an 18-hour long procedure, uh, according to the medical staff, uh, to which they will then, next month, put him under a, uh, a serious surgery where they will go and... Uh, separate or detach his colon from his stomach. Uh, it's a complication uh, which may have arisen after a previous stomach surgery that he had. So I guess the moral of the story is um, eat lots of fruit. Um, you, you need to make sure you don't get constipated. It's a good thing. I recommend it. I prefer strawberries, bananas, peaches, watermelons, ban a any kind of fruit. Just bulk up on it. it. It will keep everything going. Then you won't gain weight and you'll be able to poop. And then you won't make the news. And, and no, I mean, really, who wants to be talked about, about having, you know, <sighs> Bunch of crap coming out of your mouth. I get blamed for that usually, but it has nothing to do with being fecal matter. It's usually just because I tell really crappy stories. I don't think so. But. I don't know. What do you think? So. That's all I got for today. A pretty crappy story for you. I'm sorry. Maybe next Fake News Friday I'll come up with something a little less crappy. I'll think of something. Cool? Cool. That being said, make sure to give this a thumbs up, subscribe, and share so your friends can hear about a crappy story too. And because sharing is caring too. Alright, we'll see you later. Bye.